Hi everyone, Gladys B here, Premier of your favourite whales in the whole wide world, New South Wales. As we all know, there's a bit of a cluster f going on at the moment in the northern beaches, but don't worry, Santa's on his way, and he's wearing a mask and practising social distancing. There'll still be lots of nice presents coming your way. To make Santa's journey a little bit easier, we've come up with some simple rules to keep you and your neighbours safe over Christmas. Given the current health situation on the northern beaches and taking into account updated health advice from the Chief Health Officer, the northern beaches have been separated into two zones, and restrictions have been modestly modified for the Christmas period. On December 24th, 25th and 26th, the following conditions will be in place. For the northern beaches peninsula zone, north of Narrabeen Bridge and east of the Baha'i Temple, there is a new reason for leaving home, to visit the home of others who live within in this zone. Up to five visitors, total including children, will be allowed in homes as long as they reside in the peninsula zone. People may not enter or leave this zone unless for the four approved reasons already in place. On December 27th, the region will revert to existing restrictions. For the remainder, southern zone, there is a new reason for leaving home, to visit the home of others who live within the zone. Up to 10 visitors, plus an unlimited number of primary school children and younger, will be allowed in homes. This may include people from outside this zone, not including the Northern Beaches Peninsula Zone. This is, however, 10 visitors in total. You cannot host 10 people in the morning and then have another 10 people over in the evening. If you are visiting multiple households, you will be counted separately for each cap. People who reside outside the Northern Beaches are allowed to visit others in this zone. Residents of this zone may not leave unless for the four approved reasons already in place. We will reassess restrictions in this zone following Boxing Day. For the Greater Sydney Region, Central Coast, Wollongong and Blue Mountains, current restrictions that were due to expire at midnight tonight will remain in place. However, an unlimited number of primary school aged children and younger will be allowed on top of the current 10 visitors cap for homes. On December 27th, the region will revert to existing restrictions. Restrictions for regional New South Wales remain unchanged. In addition, as of the 1st of January 2021, hospitality venues and hairdressers will be required to use the New South Wales Government QR code system. Decisions on New Year's Eve and upcoming sporting events will be made after this Christmas period. Anyway, they're my simple rules to have a nice, safe, enjoyable Christmas in the northern beaches. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a tweet. So it's still a bit unclear for many people as the wording varies. Is it a total of 10 people or 10 visitors in your home, including residents? Does the same 10 people limit apply to outdoors, parks, picnic gatherings? So kids who are already 12 count as adults or kids? Would love some clarification on the following. Can two adults visit, say, two different homes on Christmas Day, as long as those homes remained under 10 adults visitors for that day? You have done an amazing job to confuse everyone in Sydney. I can't find anyone that understands the updated measure. You ooze brilliance, Gladys B. Hi everyone, Gladys B here, Premier of your favourite whales in the whole wide world, New South Wales. <laughs> anyway, there's been a little bit of confusion over the recent rules, so we've scrapped them and come up with some new rules. In the same vein as the 12 days of Christmas, we've come up with the 12 new rules of Christmas. Enjoy! First of all, we've broken the northern beaches up into 12 zones, A1, B1, C1, D1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, and A4, B4, and C4. Now the rules are pretty simple. Rule 1. On Christmas Eve and Boxing Day, people of the same zone letter may visit each other freely. So for example, zone A's can visit other zone A's, and zone B's can visit other zone B's. Rule 2. On Christmas Day, only zones of the same number can visit each other. So for example, Zone 1s can visit other Zone 1s. Rule 3. Zones of the same number cannot cross through zones of the same letter. So for example, if you're Zone A3, you can cross through Zone B3, but you cannot cross through Zone A2. Rule 4. On Christmas night, even-numbered zones can visit other even-numbered zones to sing Christmas carols, but can only visit odd-numbered zones to participate in Christmas dinner. Rule 5. On Boxing Day morning, even-numbered zones can visit odd-numbered zones to give presents, but only if the destination zone number is greater than your zone number. 
Rule 6. People whose first name starts with their zone letter can visit other zones that start with the first letter of their surname. So for example, if your name is Bob Cousins and you live in B1, you can freely travel to C1, C2 and C4. However, don't forget Rule 3. Zones of the same number cannot cross through zones of the same letter. Rule 7. A northerly zone is defined as one that starts with the letter A, B, C or D and ends in a 1, 2, 3 or 4, not including C4. Rule 8. A southerly zone is defined as one that starts with a C and ends in a 4, so basically manly. Rule 9. When in doubt, southerly zones take precedence over northerly zones. Rule 10. All northerly zones are restricted to 5 people on Christmas Day, 10 people on Boxing Day and 7 people on Christmas Eve, divided by your zone number. So for example, for example, if you live in B2, on Christmas Day you can have 5 divided by 2 people visit you, round up in even numbered zones, round down in odd numbered zones. Rule 11. An unlimited number of primary aged school children can visit any zone for any reason limited to the number of the zone multiplied by 100. So for example, an unlimited number of children can visit a single household in zone B3 limited to a maximum of 3 times 100, or 300 children. Rule 12. Masks are to be worn in households in odd-numbered zones that can be divided evenly into the total sum of their surrounding even-numbered zones plus one minus the number of people visiting at any given time. Anyway, they're the brand new 12 new rules of Christmas. These new rules will allow you all to have a wonderful Christmas. On behalf of the New South Wales Government and I, I hope your Christmas is filled with laughter and prosperity. Merry Christmas! Christmas!